Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays Frostpunk. This guard station's a little chilly here, I noticed. We got the Great Frost coming. Oh, it's coming. It's back there. It's cold. We got some scouts heading towards the Camp Compass. We have another group of scouts coming back with some more workers who we really cannot necessarily afford to have, but we're going to anyway because... We're trying to minimize how much of a jerk we are, even though we can't get rid of it completely. Our, our jerk quantity, that is. Let's see. This can go to that house that we deconstructed earlier. Let's upgrade these houses, too. we got to make sure this gets done. Otherwise, it will get too cold. There's a camp back here? There's a tent back here. All right, we got the steel for it now. Let's... Oh, jeez! I did not see that. Okay, our group... Okay, our scouts came back. So we got some more workers. They We got a lot of sick people from that, too. Oh, Upgrade this freaking tent. Good lord. Alright, guys. Head out to the ice crevasse. Actually, no. Head out to Camp Meteor. The other group is about to hit another camp here. We're going to get to see what's there. Got a lot of building projects going on. Mostly upgrades. Which is fine, and good, and good, and fine. Let's see. Lost some hope because of the storm coming. Let's do a patrol. Also, let's do a uh, propaganda center. Let's go ahead and have a bulletin go out. Let everybody know we're fine. Hope is good. Don't worry about it. We don't need a new world order yet. Don't make that change, alright, people? Someone became gravely ill. Okay, the scouts have reached Camp Compass. The people living in this camp are packed and ready to go. All the tents are empty. They're leaving almost nothing behind. New priorities. A small group of scientists is finishing the loading of their supplies. They work efficiently, but in silence, looking somewhat de dejected. We're mostly helping with the evacuations now, one of them tells us. We used to study the Earth's magnetic field, but there are more important things to worry about now, like survival. It's a fortified hut, and there's ice caves. We can escort them to the city. It's engineers. We'll direct them to the city. Some of them might die, but... I think that is fine. Let's check out... The ice cave is only nine hours away. Let's go there. Alright. I'm hoping for a steam core. If I see one, I'm bringing it right back home. Bunch of houses getting built. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Only, nobody's homeless right now, which is actually wonderful. And he's going to change here for a few minutes as we upgrade more houses. Alright. I think that's actually all of the how all of the places upgraded to the houses. Stereotopic lens scopic, excuse me, is researched. We can now gauge the severity of the storms. So what's next on our list? Well we're gonna need to get more steel before we can research anything. That's just the way it is. We could always consider the wall drill, but we don't have any cores right now, so that's not going to do much for us. I think insulation is going to be our next group of researches. So gathering post insulation, healthcare insulation, hot house insulation, all of these. So what's that lens do for us? Prepare for the storm. Sir, the scientists couldn't believe their eyes, but they've double and triple checked their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature... To plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced before. Hunting will be impossible. The plants in the hothouses will freeze. Everyone left outside the city will perish. So, and so will we if we can't heat our homes properly. We have to prepare. Hope falls. A lot! Okay, well that's fine. We did what we could to raise the heat output of the generator. This alone might not be enough. All of our homes and workplaces should be as warm as possible. The cold that's coming could kill in minutes. Okay. That hurts. <laughs> so the cold, that's done. Recall all scouts and outpost teams. All right, we got six days to do that. We got six days for all of this, so that must be when it's going to hit. Rescue the survivors from the snow burrows. We've done that. Ice crevasse and deep hollows. So I guess we got to do those. Gather at least a week's worth of food for each citizen. 2,940 rations. Okay. We got hunter's huts going. We don't even have enough storage for that. Oh my goodness. 
Ooh, 2,940, huh? All right. What? How do I prioritize these? All right, another house. That's great. So warmth shouldn't be a big problem. Really, my issue now is food. 100%. Food, food, food. And all we could build are hunter's huts. Let's see. I could get flying hunters, which are better at getting food. They can provide up to 30. Then we get flying hunters gear to make them more efficient. Let's do that. So our priority for the next six days is food. We've reached the ice caves. Numerous frozen bodies lie on the cave floor. They must have run out of fuel for their stoves. The dead bodies we have found... By the dead bodies, we have found many crates filled with papers. A testimony of the extensive research dedicated to the fluctuations of the Earth's magnetic field. It's too heavy to understand by our scouts and too heavy to bring to the city. Well, that's unfortunate. Carry on. Head to the fortified hut. Then we can go to the ice crevasse and camp meteor. We already got someone heading to Camp Meteor, but that's not the point. Anyway. Oh, they want us to store a lot of food. So what's the solution? I mean, it's to get more food stored. There's no there's no big secret to it. Let's give some raw rations out here. To both of these infirmaries. For now, it's worth it. We need to let them survive. Okay. Okay. We got 69 steel. First of all, nice. Second of all, resource depots. Where can we put them? Put one here. Which will work. We can put one over here. Which will be fine. It doesn't necessarily matter where we put them. As long as we can make sure they got roads leading to them. There we go. Three people are homeless. Why do we have people who are all of a sudden homeless who weren't before? They're all in treatment. Food rations. Food rations. Food rations. How many food rations can we store now? Ugh, we need one more. We've reached the fortified hut. The fence that surrounds the Arctic hut has been destroyed, shattered as a pack of wild animals went through it. Scientists who built this station designed it to withstand the Arctic climate, but they clearly underestimated the fierce Arctic fauna. The doors and windows have been bashed in by heavy blows, letting inside the cold and snow. Scientific and life support equipment froze and burst, dooming the base and its inhabitants. Some useful technology. What does that even mean? Head to the crevasse, and then you're going to head home after that. We'll find out what useful technology means. Anyway. Let's go. Why do we suddenly have ten homeless people? Flying hunters have been researched. Now we can build the hunter's hangar. Has a base heating of three, which is wonderful. Since it has a base heating of three, I'm wondering if we just put it in the back... And let it survive that way with a heater. We'll see. Mild frostbite. Someone became gravely ill. We can now get Flying Hunter's gear. Up to 45 raw food per hunt. That's amazing. That might be our next research. Haven't decided on it yet, though. Right now, we're actually cooking a decent number... Or a decent amount, I should say, of food. One more resource depot is needed. Put it right there. The sick are being treated and healed. Okay, we have space for the food rations now. 3,000 food. Now it's just a matter of getting the actual food ready. So, fill this up. Oh, they can't have a heater. That's fine, then. Alright. We have reached Camp Meteor. The camp is built around a large hole of, in the ice. It might be an impact crater of a meteorite. 
We don't know, but there's a block and tackle attached to the top of the steel framework built over a hole. We searched the remains of the camp. This must have been some scientific operation dedicated to the research of whatever punched this hole in the ice. Now this place is deserted and there's nothing of value here. We can go to a large crater or a scattered convoy. Let's go to the large crater. A couple of huts made of corrugated steel stand on the rim of a large bull-shaped depression in the ice. There's no activity. Alright. We'll see what's going on there. Other than nothing. Coal. At night, coal generation is just a little low, so... I'm thinking we if we can get another steam core, we might be able to get another automaton. A hungry mother. Sir, a woman has come to plead with you. She wants more food rations, but the cook says she's already received her allowance. I beg you, Captain, the woman says in a trembling voice. Your men mean well, but they've made a mistake. I need two rations, one for me and one for my sick child, please. So if I give her two rations, discontent will rise. But if I don't, hope will fall. You know what? Hope's starting to drop. I'm going to give her two rations. Discontent's going to rise. Or not. Nobody cares. People are too contented to be discontented right now. All right. Right now, everything is about gathering as much as we can. Let's see. We are at 82 steel. Let's research. I mean, I want to do the Flying Hunter's gear. You know what? I'm going to do that. I, we need to get the food going. How will we manage against that monstrosity? We're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Don't worry. What's up? Food theft causes riots. Sir, we've investigated the discrepancies between raw food use and the output of the cookhouses. Found that cooks are stealing food. People are furious. We caught two thieves. They said they wanted to secure their families before the storm shuts down the food supply. We could banish them. We could post guards to supervise the cooks, or we could do nothing. Well, obviously, they won't like that. Let's have guards supervise the cooks. Make sure that doesn't happen anymore. You jerks. I mean, come on now. We're all trying to survive here. You're not the only ones. You actual factual dinguses. Should put you on emergency shift for that. Ooh, current efficiency for some of these places are over 100% thanks to those agitators. In fact, I should consider putting those near the hothouses. There's one person here protesting. We have engineers here, I've just noticed. We could put... Uh, Normal people on these, it'll be all the same, right? Oh no, engineers actually do work a little bit faster. Cool. In that case, put engineers on both of them. Wait. No, workers work faster here. Okay, well, it, I guess it depends on how long they've been working there. Maybe they have things sorted out a little bit better. I don't even know. Now, if hope does fall too low, I can consider dealing with that and fixing it with the new order, but I might be able to go without that. Could always do overdrive if we absolutely had to. Which we will, probably, during the Great Frost. Found the large crater. Camp is empty. Lost without a trace. The crater is fresh with broken ice around the rim. We searched the camp for clues to the scientist's fate and found none. Everything's in order, but not a perfect order. It looks like they went out to do something and didn't return. Maybe they tried to descend into the crater and got lost in the maze of broken ice. Or got caught by a blizzard. Or both. Either way, we got some useful technology. Let's head to the scattered convoy, and then we'll head home. Alright, we got plenty of time. And we got some useful technology, whatever that means. I'm interested. Flying Hunter's Gear is researched. Great. So now the people in this Hunter's Hangar can get us even more food. I should consider replacing these huts with the hangers as well. They work at the same time, right? 18 to 6? Yes. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. What time is it now? 14? Let's wait until the next day. As soon as they're done the next day, we'll go ahead and start replacing. We're at the ice crevasse. There's more survivors here. We gotta rescue them. We found the dying people Nassan's refugees told us about. They're sheltering in an ice crevasse. 
These people are on their last legs. Despite taking shelter in an ice crevasse, many of them suffer from heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them still if we act quickly and bring them to the city. They can't stand on their own. Some can hardly speak. Camp of Vulcan. Bring them home. And on the way home, our other group can hit Camp Vulcan. All right. Research. Hot house insulation. Or, excuse me. Healthcare insulation. And then hot house insulation. Right now, the infirmaries are perfectly fine, but that temp is going to drop. Between 39 and 40, it's going to drop twice. We've reached the scattered convoy. The snow is trodden and stained with what seems like buckets of blood. Inside damaged crawlers, we've found several dead bodies. Few of them are torn apart like they were partially eaten by some beast. Polar bears, we think. We'll never know for sure what happened here, and there's nothing useful for us to salvage from this gruesome place. All right. Off to Captain Vulcan. See plenty of activity. Oh, nice. Might be able to bring some more people home. Because that's what we need right now is more freaking people. <laughs> All right. Okay. We've got additional... Oh, additional scouts technology. Nice. Scouts have returned. They have 12 workers and 7 children, most of whom I'm sure are sick. If not all of them. So do we have anywhere to send these scouts? Well, we can send them to Camp Vulcan. But it's going to be all the same. So I think we're just going to go ahead and disband these guys. So you guys have something else. Advanced coal mine. I mean, that's kind of useless. Doom-mongering drunks. Sir, a dozen or so people got drunk and took it to the streets. They were chasing after women, yelling that we should have some fun before the storm kills us all. Banish them. Twelve people. Or we can send them home. They'll be set to sober up, but their doom-mongering will affect hope and discontent. Kick them out, then. We have homeless people. People could use their houses. They want to be that way. All right, it's almost six. At 6 a.m., we're replacing these hunter's huts with better huts. All right. Or 6.30, whatever. Oh, we can upgrade them straight up. Life is so good. Okay. <laughs> Upgrades for our hunters. They go from, what, 20 per day to 45? Wow, that is huge. Yeah, upgrade all of these if we can. It does cost a full 40 steel, but it only costs a portion of the wood. Healthcare insulation is up. Excellent. Hot house insulation would be next. Or gathering post insulation. No, most of our gathering posts are automated at this point. I'm thinking we might want to do automation integration. Because that'll up our coal production. Which will be huge. Alright, we need 40 steel for that. Gotta remember. What's this? Survivors reach the city. Oh, the survivors, yes. They're tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention. But they're ready to lend a hand however they can. Well, first of all, welcome. We have 516 people under our uh, watch. All right. There goes the hunters. That actually looks really cool watching them fly off. They're literally flying hunters. Anyway, let's look at the next research here. Yeah, I think automated integration is the next thing. Let's get them going. We need 80 steel for it. And bada bing, bada boom. Bam. Alright, that's the next research. We got some people who got quite ill out here, unfortunately. Apparently. Actually got quite a bit of ill. You know what? Let's uh, throw down some extra rations for them. Our boys have reached Camp Vulcan. More survivors here. As we approach the camp, we can see that its inhabitants are busy packing. They've dismantled a couple of huts to build imp improvised sledge. Sleds. Pfft. Sledges? I missed the word. Anyway, you're going the wrong way. The scientists mistook us for refugees. But after we tell them about our city, they're nonplussed. It's probably too close to the storm to withstand it. Well, you might consult NASA on that if you reach them in the south. Their work here is done. 
We should convince them to join us so we can show them our city. We could escort them. We could direct them. We could let them go their own way. Direct them to the city. We're not going to force them to come. Let's see. Deep Hollow is where we did not. Let's see if we can go back to the Deep Hollow. Ugh, the Jagged Rocks. We're going to miss them. Let's go there now. We've got three days left before the uh, cold. Oh, boy. There it is. It's coming. All right, now we got a lot of food to make. Prayers at work. Sir, the people employed at this gathering post refuse to work today. They intend to spend the entire shift praying. We've been working like madmen, sir, but there's only so much we can do to prepare. Let's face it, this is the end of the world. Through prayer, we can find hope of deliverance. Whatever happens. Boy. Fine. Whatever. I don't want hope to fall. In fact, that made hope rise a lot. Five people died? On day 38, five of our people died. Five died on expeditions. No. Oh my gosh. The cold took them. Jeez. Poor sons of bastards didn't stand a chance. Ugh. All we can do now is gather as much food as we can. We're doing great on coal consumption, or production, I should say, during the day. Next research. No reason to do anything with the, uh, with the sleds or the scouts at this point. We could up generator range. It'll up coal use by the generator. I'm not sure we need to do that. In fact, it'd be more helpful to do the um, range upgrade for the steam hubs, but again, that would double their consumption, which is a little bit much. I think we need to do some more insulation here. Cookhouse insulation. Infirmary mechanization. Let's do hothouse insulation for now. I don't, actually don't think we need any insulation. Necessarily, but we might, so... Oh, I was too late for that, wasn't I? Yeah, the flyers are out. They look really cool, though. Bye! Have fun hunting! Alright, we're making food rations. I don't know if we're going to have a week's worth by the time this frost hits. But there's only one way to know for sure, and that is by letting it hit. Dude, what's what's 9 out of 10 here? Ah, the gathering post. There you go. Fight over supplies. Sir, an argument erupted between some workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, and though nobody was seriously injured, tensions are running high. Keep me updated on this stuff. Discontent is rising. All right. Time for a patrol. I think. Oh, wow, the infirmary got a little low on people there. Time for a patrol. Time for some letters to go out. We got a propaganda. All right. So let's gather some more raw food. It's, it's gathering. I don't think we're going to get our food stores up to where they're wanting it. We might, but I doubt it. Temperature falls again. It's now negative 70. Some of these buildings are pretty chilly, but our houses are fine. This child shelter could use some heat. One of the cookhouses is very cold. Probably want to fix that with some research. A mob storms the stockpiles. Sir, a crowd of terrified people have stormed the stockpiles and started plundering our supplies. We've managed to fight them off, but they demand wood for heating and reinforcing their homes. We need 980 wood to supply everybody. I didn't see how much wood I have. I don't want to say the city comes first, but I can disperse the crowd with guards. I might have to do that. Disperse the crowd. We only have 200 wood. That was the, the better option. A couple people got hurt. 
I don't know about the better option, but it was the safer option. All right, the guard houses are going to be a little chilly. Let's see if we have a better place to put maybe one or two of those. Place where they can be heated, at least. Oh, you can upgrade these? I didn't know that was considered an upgrade. I guess it makes sense. Hmm. Sure. We'll upgrade that. That'll keep that place warm, at least. And... Where else can I fit one, though? I suppose I could fit a guard station back here. I could fit one here in this corner. Sure. Then we'll just tear this one down, because it's not that effective. Hot house insulation is go. Cookhouse insulation would be great as well. Let's see. There it is. Let's get that going. All right. There we go. More than a quarter of people live near guard stations now. Helps a little bit. Oh, let's upgrade this one, too. This is actually a great place. Covers quite a few houses. Nice. All right. Coal production at night. Let's look at it. We are actually in positive coal gain with just our automatons at night. We have nothing to fear when it comes to the cold. So the problem then really is the food production. So how do we fix? Well, we got to upgrade more of these to Hunter's Hangers. They're almost back for the night, so... There we go. It's six. They've gathered their food. Well, they're bringing it back now. There we go. Upgrade these hangers. That should max that out. It's getting a little bit colder. Survivors reach the city. All right. We have 39 homeless people now. Yeah, I want to upgrade those. I think what I need to do then is... Because the frost is in the next day. This is... This is do or die time. So... Let's get a few more hunter's hangers going. Because this is probably the last night we can hunt. How are the houses? Houses are well lit. Fill this hangar. Fill this hangar. The other one should already be filled. The sawmill has nothing, so we'll deconstruct it. This is actually for raw food. So I can put stuff in there. We have an amputee. Thanks to severe frostbite. It'll be okay. It won't be good, but it'll be okay. They'll be fine. Gathering post insulation, I don't think is needed. Medical automaton integration. Automation integration. Oh. Automatons working at medical facilities will be more efficient. I don't think we need that. We don't need engineer automatons. Do we need any other research? I don't think we do, but I'm going to go ahead and research infirmary mechanization. And let's see. Is there a place to put another sawmill where we can get some more? We get wood here. And we can get wood here. But not much. And up here, where there's a little bit more. Put it here. Build it, put the automaton in it. Make sure we're at least getting some wood. Alright. This is the last night. Let's go ahead and do a patrol. Patrol. 
this place have heater? It does. Probably won't help much. All right. This episode is going to be a little bit long because it's frost time. Hmm. Citizen had to have it limb amputated. Let's, uh... Make five... Five prosthesis here, because we're probably going to need them. And here we go. Hell is frozen over. Didn't think it was possible for it to get this cold. Oh my god, with the hope. The storm hits the city. A howling gale bursts upon the city. And the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn toward the rattling windows. Trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hothouses will freeze. We'll have to make do with the food we've stockpiled. Oh, boy. Survive the storm. Woo. All right. Overdrive. We prepared as much as we possibly can. All right, all of our food gathering is disabled. Infirmary mechanization is complete. Let's let's go for the generator range increase. And it begins. Expeditions are disabled. Life is a frozen hell for a little while and hope is struggling put down a bulletin let them know that we still have a chance well the bulletin's out can we go ahead and just turn off the no we need to keep this building going <laughs> okay yeah steam hub no they're are they in the Location of a steam hub? They're not. They're not. Get them in a steam hub. Shut down this guard station. Let's see, a couple other buildings are freezing. No, actually, that's all the b buildings that were freezing, just two. And now this station is fine for now. How are we doing on coal? Beautiful, right now. Generator range research has been done. So now we're at range 2, which means everything in this... That's yeah, a little bit more range. Yeah, it actually did heat this house. Okay. We could do range 3 and 4 as well. I think I'm going to do those. I might be able to turn off a steam hub if I can get complete coverage by the generator instead. We'll see. That would be nice. We're trying. It's a lot of homeless right now. In fact, I might want to go ahead and remove some of these hangers since we can't use them. And replace them with houses. Keep people warm. Whoop, there we go. People, houses. All right, are you in a warm area? You might be. Oh, yeah, you are. I see the hub up here. And tear these down. Replace them with houses. Mm, okay. All right. Everyone's going to have homes. A lot of people are still going to be considered freezing. Because you work in the Hunter's Hangers. Yeah, no. Um, shut down all of the Hunter's Hangers then. Since you can't work in these places, might as well shut them down. That way people won't be coming over here and freezing their butts off for nothing. No, oh, there's one more. Turn it off. Actually, I was wrong. There's two more. 
Okay, those are all off. Nobody's freezing now. Temperature continues to drop. Looks like it's going to drop every day for a little while. We do not have... We do not have a steam core, so we can't throw one in here if things get worse. Okay. This continues to grow. Do we go for the next level? I think we do. All right. All right, we got to turn off the overdrive. Huh. Every place is chilly. I'm thinking the next day we could turn that back on. But right now, this is this is as cold as things are going to get. Our food is holding out. Surprisingly. Discontent is rising. And people are getting sick. All right. The wind. I can't hear my own thoughts. I didn't think it was possible for it to get this cold. A negative 110. Good lord. Okay. Range 3. Ah, uh, not quite enough. Not quite enough to cover all of those. This cookhouse is too cold. Well, that's not good. Well, it's not like we can cook food anyway. Alright, like, a bunch of people are freezing right now. So, we're probably gonna have to do some unpopular decisions, but... Turn the overdrive back on. Nobody's freezing again. This content drops to nothing. Throw down some flyers. Yeah, I feel like some unpopular decisions are going to be made very soon here. Just, mm, we could make prostheses a little cheaper. Let's do that because we might need them. We still have three in storage, but you never know. Got 700 food. Oh, boy. I just realized the uh, beacon is gone. Ah, they, they called it back in. Interesting. What's wrong with this place? This hot house is too cold? Throw a heater in it. Not that it's... You know, it's not actually going to get used, so who cares? Turn it off. Turn off this cookhouse. This child shelter is too cold. Put a heater in it. Generator stress is critical. Let's turn off overdrive for a little bit it's gonna get even colder still 21 hours of coal left I think the coal is gonna be fine darkness before dawn sir one of our engineers has come crashing through the door white face demanding to see you I've run the calculations with the new data the storm will pass in a couple of days but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread. People are losing all hope. We've gotta stay strong. There's the final day! A lot of people are freezing, but nobody... 68 people are sick? Oh my lord. People refuse to work. Today, a group of people employed at this gathering post refused to go to work today. They say that they want to spend their final hours with their families. Let them stay home. Turn the overdrive back on. Oh my god, that's barely heating anything. This is with overdrive on. We're at chili. There's nothing more we could do as far as heating goes. Heater efficiency, advanced heaters, all junk to this storm got 31 people being treated give them extra rations we're almost out of food stress level is critical turn off the overdrive
We might discontent is about to raise over hope. Oh uh, yeah, being out of food is probably gonna do it, but we are so close to being at the end. Hell is frozen over. Panic spreads. Sir, even more people have abandoned their workspaces. Completely petrified. Many of them don't believe we'll make it. This time, the entire staff of this guard station refused to work. Let them stay home. Just a little bit of hope. Just a little bit of hope. Turn on the generator. Discontent drops again. Miracles happen. Sir, it's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but when they got back... They got lost, or they tried to get back. They got lost and had to wait a full lull in the blizzard to find their way back. They're both exhausted and frostbitten, but very happy. That's awesome. Also, that should have raised some hope. I'm just saying. Okay, bulletin now. Raises hope a little bit. Two people died. More people are staying home. I can't say that I blame them. Generator stress level is critical. Gotta turn it off for a bit. More people are dying. People are dropping like flies. Storms harvest. Captain, the ill and their families have gathered to demand that we do something, anything to help them. But the number of frostbite cases keeps rising and we might not be able to help all the sick people in time. You could use triage to heal most of them, but many would have to die. If we disperse the crowd, discontent will actually fall. Let's do that. Use our guards. If that actually quells discontent, that's great. Oh, jeez. Hope is falling to nothing. All right. Time for a new order. Oh, there will be blood. Send the guards. Sign the law. There will be no questioning the captain's will. Our city is one of order. And it demands obedience. We will survive this storm. We are the chosen ones, the last stand, and we will prevail. Hope is for the weak. We have strength and courage. Work and order. Winter home fell, but we will succeed. Obedience has replaced hope. The night of changes. Dawn breaks and the streets are silent. We've declared our city the bastion of the strongest, toughest, and most obedient people. There's no place in it for doubts, troublemakers, rebels, and reactionaries. Everyone who is a threat to the unity of our city under you, as the leader of the new order, has been dealt with. 22 citizens died. Others have rejected their views. Hope will never be a problem again. No one will think in these categories anymore. It had to be done. People are obedient to your every word. They have no use for hope. Turn overdrive back on for the rest of the night. Execution platform has been built and set up by the generator. Whenever you order it to be put to use, a public enemy will be executed. It will lower discontent greatly. Dawn is about to break, though. We shouldn't need it. We're down to 492 people. Considering we had over 500, that's a lot. But I think we're going to make it. Work ceases. Most ceases, excuse me. Most of our people have abandoned their workplaces to stay home with their families. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever the end will bring. Keep the generator running. It is now negative 150 degrees. In fact, turn the generator off. The generator is useless. Everything is cold. People continue to die of frostbite. But, not everybody. Because most of us will survive. The storm ends. The wind dies down and the temperature finally starts to rise. An eerie silence descends on the city. Temperature drops to negative 33. We made it. It's over. I can't believe it. It's finally over. We did it. We survived the final blow. We will live. We have survived. Order reigns. 
Ooh, is this a time lapse? We started as a formless rabble. This is really cool, by the way. Battered by the elements. Eighty people. Disorganized. Weak. When sickness hit us, we refused to give up on anyone. And every day was a struggle. So we adapted. People spying on each other. Brainwashing propaganda. Oppressive guards. Morning gatherings. And in the fight for survival. We crossed the line. Order became despotism. The city survived. But was it worth it? First of all, are you saying that I don't know how to run a colony? 1887, the glorious city of New London. 475 citizens. Negative 30 degrees is nothing. We'll survive that so hard. And that is it for that place, Frostpunk. At least the new home scenario. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like if you haven't already. Feel free to subscribe for more. Order reigns here in the frozen north. Thank you again for watching this episode of that place, Frostpunk. And I will see you in the next video.